need to call internal utility functions that require fast MCP context, but can't modify their signatures. We'll show you how to access the active request context from anywhere in your call stack using FastMCP's dependency system. You'll see how a dataset analysis tool calls a helper function that logs progress without explicitly passing the context parameter. From FastMCP, import FastMCP. From FastMCP server dependencies, import get context. MCP equals fast MCP. Name equals dependency dam. Hash utility function that needs context, but doesn't receive it as a parameter. A sync def process data data list float dict. Hash get the active context only works when called within a request. CTX equals get context. Await CTX info f processing len data data points. At MCP, tool, a sync def analyze dataset, dataset name, SDR, dict, hash call utility function that uses context internally, data equals load data, dataset name, await process data, data. This demonstrates the implicit context pattern for dependency access in server-side frameworks. The code shows how utility functions can access request scope services without explicit parameter passing, using a runtime dependency function to retrieve the active context. What makes this distinctive is the ability to maintain clean function signatures while still accessing framework capabilities deep in the call stack. The pattern works by establishing a request scoped context that threads through the entire execution flow. When a utility function needs framework services like logging or progress reporting, it retrieves the current context through a dependency function rather than receiving it as a parameter. This maintains separation of concerns, as utility functions remain unaware of their calling context while still accessing necessary services. This approach solves the dependency propagation problem in layered architectures. Without it, you'd need to pass context parameters through every function call, creating coupling and cluttering interfaces. The trade-off is that these utility functions become framework-dependent and can't be used outside request contexts. But for server-side code, this is often an acceptable constraint for cleaner abstractions. Let's break it down line by line. From FastMCP, import FastMCP. This imports FastMCP, the core framework class for building AA callable tools. It provides the decorator system, context management, and type-driven schema generation that powers the entire toolchain. From FastMCP server dependencies, import get context. This imports get context, FastMCP's dependency injection helper for accessing the current request context. It enables utility functions to participate in logging and progress reporting without explicit parameter passing. MCP equals fast MCP. Name equals dependency dam. This initializes the fast MCP server instance, the central orchestrator for AI callable tools. The name parameter identifies this service in logs and metrics critical for debugging distributed systems. All tool registrations and context management flow through this core instance. Hash utility function that needs context, but doesn't receive it as a parameter. A sync def process data data list float dict. This defines a context dependent utility function that operates without explicit context parameters. It demonstrates the implicit context pattern where internal functions access request scoped context through get context, rather than parameter passing, reducing boilerplate in utility code. Hash get the active context only works when called within a request. CTX equals get context. This retrieves the active request context from FastMCP's dependency system. 
required for logging and progress reporting, but only available during an active request lifecycle. Await CTX, info, F processing, lend data, data points. This logs progress through FastMCP's context system. The await CTX, info, call emits a structured log message that appears in both the server logs and AI tool execution traces, ensuring observability across the entire call chain. At MCP, tool, a sync def analyze dataset, dataset name, SDR, dict. The at MCP tool decorator registers this async function as an AI callable tool. FastMCP converts the type hints and doc string into a structured schema that AI models use to understand and invoke the function. This is the standard pattern for exposing Python logic to AI workflows. Hash call utility function that uses context internally. Data equals load data, dataset name. This loads the dataset before processing, separating data retrieval from transformation logic. The pattern keeps the tool function focused on orchestration while delegating the actual data loading to a dedicated function. Await process data, data. This invokes the utility function that internally accesses the request context, demonstrates how context propagates through the call stack, enabling logging and progress reporting in nested functions without explicit parameter passing. Context dependency pattern. The get context dependency function enables accessing FastMCP's request scoped context from anywhere in the call stack even in utility functions that weren't designed to receive it as a parameter. This only works during active requests. Calling it outside a request raises a runtime error. Use this pattern when refactoring legacy code or deep utility functions that need contextual awareness. The function that never asks for context receives all contexts.